say in Dallas. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where. You, you saw that. Training said audibles or no. They're referring to is at the start of the game, when you're at the play call screen, there's a feature called audibles on the fly where you can pick what plays you want to bring with you to the line of scrimmage. And sometimes these guys will take a grace period where you can take a delay a game at the start on your very first possession to set up those audibles and your opponent will decline the penalty. So it's and more that's of like what, a, gentle, that's what, it's yeah, a gentleman's agreement. They don't have to do it, but that's what they're going to do here. Just a reminder, Juju will be here from the Pittsburgh Steelers tonight. He'll be joining us in the booth for our play-by-play. -play. We'll ask him about the draft. And, uh, of course, they drafted Edmonds at, at defensive back. We'll see if... He's going to tell us he's going to put some put some moves on him and, and the training camp coming up. And uh, they also drafted a couple guys from Oklahoma State. So it'll be awesome to talk to him tonight. Of course, young Kiv beat him 21 to nothing. Let me see by my math. He also beat Blocky 24 to nothing. Wow. So 65. if we could somehow get Blocky and Juju to play together, maybe we've got a matchup. How about Kiv with the 65 <laughs> point differential on the day? <laughs> Looking pretty good thus far. First to ten. This is Latavius Murray, Scott. Trini said he's going to be key in this game. And he's got 93 speed and 91 truck. So just, a nice mix of speed and power right there. Just a reminder, you're seeing the play art from Trini's perspective. True Boy can't see that. We get an opportunity to hear as we spectate here on second and eight. Shotgun formation. And if you're a spectator, you need to take this play art and soak it in. You get a first-hand look into the minds of these players and see the type of things they want to do. So if you see a play that, that looks like they're having success with, note it down, remember it, go ahead and try it out yourself. That's one of the benefits to watching this high-level mat and take some of these tricks and then go beat up your friends with them. Joel CP hanging out with us in chat, seeing if his boy Drini can rock and roll here. And I just got giddy all of a sudden because I remember George Fant. He's out there, big number 74. <laughs> Had a pancake on the first, on second down, but here on third, ends up getting block shedded, and it's going to be a fourth and four at the 43. Switch, switch, switch. Yes, true boy. You know, if he had any comment about this whole top Madden drama, you guys are trying to build up whatever True said right away. No comment. Doesn't affect me. I'm just here to focus at the task at hand, and the task at hand is getting the W over Dreamy. Fourth and four. We'll talk more about that as the game moves on. Oh, good stick. Wow. It throws it to Cooks. And we've watched a lot of Madden. Of course, you were a big part of the competitive scene back in the day. Name some other guys besides these two guys right here. That Their run stick is absolutely phenomenal. I think these are the best two runners stick-wise in the game we have right now in true and dream. Yeah, these guys are phenomenal, and it's their ability to also commit to the run, Scott. They, they don't get rattled by it. They got a game plan. They stick with their game plan. And that's a big part of having a successful, successful run game. If you get blown up the first time you try to run the ball, do you get discouraged, or do you say, you know what, he can't do that again. He's going to have to show me. And these guys, they're going to make you have to show them if you want to really stop the run, because they're committed to it. First and one. Second and one. Now it's first. I mean, I really asked about Where am I? too. <laughs> old uh, yeah. admin up there, Justin Chow. Yeah, he, he was pretty, pretty good. He had a yeah. pretty good run game, I'll tell you. You can see some highlights of. He had this one run in his championship game against Problem. If that highlights out there, you know, like reverses field, it, it was phenomenal. Problem ends up winning that game, though. Nonetheless, still remember that play. First and 10 now at the 23-yard line for Drini. Here on his opening drive, bunch to the right. He's going to put Cook solo to the left, and he's going to stretch it out to Murray. It's amazing the amount of Jaguar linebackers, just defenders in total, that True has on his squad. You like to see when it matches up. Of course, we got the... Uh, Jags announcing some new uniforms. New helmet. Yeah, be good to see them rock that next year. Getting rid of the fade. We still have the fade here. Second and seven. Murray. Oh, he's got the corner. Forced out of bounds at the 12-yard line. 
to go, and this is what they can do. You, you, you let a, a drive continue to persist. They can take a lot of time off the clock. Look at the focus, the dream. Oh, you got to be careful. Oh, good stick. Vic gets to the outside, and he'll run out of bounds at the 10-yard line. Shut down, shut down. Michael Vick. So dominant. This is just the 93, not the 97 version that you saw young Kev rocking. Still got 89 speed. And that's enough to get to the edge there. And you can see him extend plays throughout this game. Second and eight now from the 10. 140 to go in the quarter. Play action. Good pocket. Able to get outside. Oh. Throws it. Just throws it away. There was no way he was trying to fit it in that window. Big, big third down coming up here, Cole. Holding, being able to hold players like Dream to three in these situations is going to be something you have to do. Oh, no! Latavius! I think he's short. It's going to depend on the spot. They're going to give him the first down at the two-yard line. So it's going to be first and goal with 123. To go in the quarter, it's been all dreamy. And we talk about committing to the run, third and eight, everybody in the mother's sinking pass. And here comes Dreeny just giving it to Latavius, letting him rumble and stumble for the first down. Boy, certainly looked like he was short. There he goes. But got the first down, and now he's trying to get a touchdown. Remember, we talked to True Scott. He said he's never prepared for anybody like he's prepared for young Dreeny in his Madden career with the additional time he had to prepare for this game. And he said the number one focus and emphasis that he spent in this lab was run defense. And so far, Drini looking like he's having some success, but you gotta wonder, is True gonna be able to put it in a box at some point here as this game progresses? Second and goal, and Murray will walk into the end zone, and Drini will strike first. And young Drini, bandana Drini. And we've seen it time and time again when he shows up to the big stage and he's bandanded up. He's been known to make a little magic, and there he goes with a strong start. 7 nothing lead over Eli Clayton, a.k.a. True Boy. Takes up 3 minutes and 49 seconds here of the opening quarter, but now True will have an opportunity to respond. That's cool. You cut to the coach shot and you see True right there. He's not happy about giving up that touchdown. Madrini, feeling it all day. Look at that emotion. Look at that passion. These guys have been so locked. We're trying to sort of stir, stir the pot with them a little bit over the last couple of days. They're Forget not having it. it. Forget about it. And I feel them. You, all the hard work that you've put in all season long, Scott, all the hours, all the time, and all the skill that you've accumulated for Madden 18, it comes down to this. This is your last real chance to profit off of this skill set that you have. Because after this, you got to wait for another opportunity. This is it for Madden 18. You got to leave it all out there. Well, we caught up with True, and he talked about that preparation. My preparation has been on point. It kind of sucks because like, a lot of people are top Madden, and I, I used to lab with Kiv a lot. And not having that luxury uh, kind of stings, but I feel like I'm prepared. Man a few words. Right now he's a man a few points. He's got to try to get something done, try to respond here on his opening drive. We had someone ask in chat, why do they have the noise-canceling headphones on? We're going to have a crowd in here later. That's number one. You know, that's number one. Number two, and the way it's always been is, so they can't hear us. We have some predictive analysis. We can see some things on the screen that, that they can't, that we talk about. And so that's why they... They, they lock in that noise so we can be free to say what we want to say. I'll give you a prime example, Scott. As you see Drini in this nickel 335 defense, and I asked him, what do you have up your sleeve in this game? He said, you're not going to say this until True has the noise canceled and headsets on. <laughs> I said, no, no, I won't say it. He said, he's not expecting me to run nickel 335, but I've been practicing it, and that's what I'm taking out against him. And you see him in that defense right here trying to catch True Boy by surprise. We have a jump along the line, our first penalty of the day. It's going to bring up a third and six at the 29. But Trini already using two timeouts thus far. It's okay in the first half. You can't take him with you. Yeah, I have no problem with 
timeouts in the first half. So how often do you get through the first half? You have all three. Third and six, Tyrod. Taylor will scramble. Oh! Look at this! And it's worth noting that we got two Virginia Tech quarterbacks in this game. Right now, it's both these guys have been using the legs. One righty, one lefty, but both with a lot of speed. That's the 94 overall, 54 cap Easter scramble, Tyrod Taylor right there. And True says he likes him because he wanted a righty quarterback for a decent cap that had a lot of speed. And Tyrod's the one that fit that mold best. Yeah, Vic's not for everybody. <laughs> you know, you, you flip around to the lefty, all of a sudden a lot of your concepts now got to work the other way. It's, it can be a bit of an adjustment. As we move to the second quarter already, your score, Drini 7, true nothing, true with the ball on a drive. And one thing I love that we got, I love when they put up those interviews mid-game, and you heard True talk about how he hasn't had the luxury to play young Kim. So we talked about at the top of the show how at this time of the year, you really got to shrink your circle. That's Kevin looking on. And look at the Kevin. And you got to be careful who you let see what you're trying to do or what adjustments you've made because these are the guys you're going to war with. I don't, who's that hipster jersey in the background? What is that, a Terrell Davis? Oh, and it's a pick! Dude, he's got it! Come on! And gets oh, by Paul tackle. Richardson, and he's going to take it all the way to the house, and Drini's going to have a two-score lead here in the conference final. Are you kidding me? And young Drini says it. True Boy also very good at protecting the ball, doesn't turn it over often. He said, I need to force him into mistakes. I'm going to have to send the goons. And boy, did he send them right there, and it benefited him with a touchdown. We're going to have to get a replay of that if we can. It's, is that unlucky, or is that just the way it goes? I want to see the replay. Look at this. The, the, oh, the hit. It's not. The ball bouncing off of the lineman's a bit lucky, and then the broken tackle. Well, Paul Richardson, it. <laughs> wide open, and he said he had a man wide open. He, he was looking for a dot, and he ends up giving up a pick six. Man, can we get a young kid, young Dreeny? The rematch. Rematch in the championship. <laughs> for those that don't know, they played in the finals of the Madden Challenge, where Dreeny went on to win the belt. Currently the only player left in the competition looking to chase his second belt be the first person to win two belts in the same year, but True's on his horse. gets a block, and the greatest running back of all time, maybe Walter Payton, will run into the end zone. Barry gets it done for True, and there's some momentum. 89 overall, 95 speed, but he was on his horse on that one, and True says, I'm not going out without a fight. We got ourselves a ball game here in the semifinals. It's always been the big argument about who's the greatest running back of all time. That Jim Brown, people Barry all, Sanders. People, people in Dallas Emmett always Smith. say Emmett. I, I'm not. I'm not feeling that. I mean, I'm feeling it from a stats perspective, but Dude, 90s Emmett. Hey, behind that Dallas line of the 90s, I would have. I would have been at least top 10. I mean, those guys were moving people. But we digress here in the conference. Finals here on the legend side. Drini jumped out to a 14-0 lead. True is finally answered. Let's see what Drini can do. First and 10 from the 25, and he'll gain a few. Let's see who can respond here. This is what I call a momentum drive, Scott. This game is wide open right now, and True can get himself all kinds of momentum if he's able to get a stop here. But same for Drini, if he could just turn this into points make it two possessions again. The momentum stays with him. It's a big drive. Murray gets dragged out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Trini really does a good job of mixing up that run and pass. You really don't know what you want to commit to against him. By the way, I'm not besmirching Emmett Smith, top 10 running back. We're in Dallas, time. too. He's, He's just careful. not the greatest one. Hey, I lived here for 20 years. I've, I've been talking junk about the Cowboys for 20 years. I'm not scared of it. <laughs> I'm just saying he had an incredible offensive line, one that was way better than Barry Sanders for sure. Don't, don't, don't get the chat in a tizzy. They're already in a tizzy on me over here. You're the one, man. You're, you're, you're not shy about your opinions. 
Uh, you get Savage every now and then. Danian Tomlinson is somewhere in there. Glad you got the there. chat there to keep you in hey, check. Hey, I've been man. rocking I the chat. We're check. over 7K, man. We're rocking and rolling. Let's go. Murray to the outside. That's a defense. big hit. It's going to bring up a huge third down. And I told you I was wondering if all that lab work that True said he put into run defense would show. And here it is. Has Young Drini in a third and 12. He needs to capitalize here. Look at him in a 4-3 wide nine set. Those DNs most likely will have one-on-one -on -one with the tackles which gives him a good chance for a block shed unless Greeny does some sort of slide protection. We talked about he wanted to force him into passing situations, and he Huge. goes low to Gibson, and that's going to be a first down and plus territory at the 44. Boy, was that big. Greeny Joker from Washington, D.C., 18 years old in his rookie season, already has a belt, continues to show ice in his veins when it counts most. He likes this. We, we didn't hit him with the playbook, Scott. No, this you, you know the people at home, they, they, they want to know about we, the playbook. We jumped right into it. And you got to know what playbook. You, you got to go scout this stuff in that you see in Drini in the Seattle offense and the Baltimore defense. You got True Boy Rock in the Arizona Cardinals offense and the Bengals defense. Really, when you look through the season, nobody used more playbooks than True. And we felt like when he was in that Arizona playbook, he was a lot more balanced. He didn't lose a game. Okay, well that, I, I hear that's good. Here. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut <laughs> no, you no. Off, no, I, I'm glad you said it because I hear that's good. <laughs> he didn't lose a game once he switched his own. So pulled it in at the 22 yard line, much to the chagrin of True Boy. Let's go! We just hurt in the back. We're going to hold down A and go right through halftime in this one. Love it. See, I love it. He calls timeout. You see, actually. Virtual true boy uh, as a coach on the side. Boom, give me that timeout. He's got two remaining. Well, it's what competitive gaming's about. You know, the money, the glory, the recognition, but it's also the opportunities. The opportunity to get into a game like John Madden football, a franchise that that's epic, that legendary. Some cool bucket list st stuff right there, yeah, Scott. Be in the game. Uh, you saw Young Kim on NFL Network this morning. We're going to be in ESPN 2 tonight. That's not bad when a lot of these journeys started on your couch. Keep in mind, eSports is still very young in our country. And you just have to think competitive eSports gaming around, you know, John Madden football has just got to be something that's here to stay. I mean, this is exciting times for all of us. And things are only going to get bigger and better. And it Murray he goes. on the outside. Strip! Ooh. Almost poked it away. It'll be second and five at the seven. 76 seconds to go in the half. This is huge. This is everything right here. It's all true with a different controller. They're playing on that Xbox, but they have special adapters here where if you want to switch your controller, you're able to do that. So if True's controller threw you off a little bit, go look for one of those special adapters you could use online to let you use the controller of your choice on the Xbox. Watch out for the X button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the one thing to get used to. Third and one now at the three. Minute 12 to go. Another timeout. Drini has one remaining. Yeah, we, play, we play all of our tournaments on the Xbox. Doesn't mean you have to use that controller. As a path, it's been a great investment. Yeah, when you come up through the ladders, you can do it on both PlayStation and the Xbox. Stretch to the right. Makes for a huge community Roll. competition, Roll. and Murray punches it in. And here right before the half, Drini pinning the extra point. He's going to have a two-possession lead here. 21-7 to with 109 to go in the half. This is awkward territory for True. Drini has given him enough time to put a drive together and go down and get some points. But at the same time, in that process, if you're true, you have to protect the football. It would be tragic to turn it over here and give Drini a chance to get himself some more points and go into the second half three possessions. This is an awkward situation for true. It's going to be a key possession. By the way, the chat has now gone to talking about the best wide receivers in the league. I, I wasn't saying Barry was the best player ever. You got Jerry Rice, Ma Tom Brady, Moss. Was Moss. My guy back in the day, a receiver, man. 
They'll get us started here. 21 to 7, 105 to go. And these next 65 seconds for True is huge. He's in the pistol formation, and we got some movement up front. And this is a new formation that True said he's been working on. He said he likes the pistol because it allows him to open up his passing game a little bit more, but he's also got some decent run plays out of this. Let's see what he's cooked up. Clutch to the left, going to hand it off Oop. to Barry. Spins his way to the 34. So tough out of that coach out there. <laughs> I know yeah. he keeps saying it. I, I'll I be love honest it every time probably, I see it. It's probably the most jealous I've ever been ever. <laughs> it's so cool. What do we got to do to get the talent in our own coach items? Tackle, boy. I was in Madden 16, but I was I was just on an item, looking all cringy. Yeah, it doesn't count. Uh, that's way way not even close. It's like it's like it's like semi partial list. credit. Yeah, partial credit. Yeah. Yeah, th th what they got going on is the real thing. Oh, that's all the way in. Yeah. Third and four. That's like me. I'm like, you can find me. I'm like a trainer in yes. franchise somewhere. Hey, and CFM. I'm, I'm putting old RG. I'm putting, I'm putting you. His name's Ryan Glikowski. <laughs> that's, the, that's the trainer's name. You get me in the CFM. Sharp. Of course, our old friend AJ, who's now down at Bioware now, he was, he was in there as a scout or something like that. It was always fun to see. Little, little Easter eggs in there all over the place. Shout out to my guy AJ. I'm a play by play. Give some Farls. Let's miss them all. Room. He's got room. Tyrod. He's going to get out, out of bounds. bounds. Oh. Wow. And they're no, going to the say he's in bounds. Oh, it's still no. moving. Oh, he's no. picked a play. Can he line up? He's kicking. He's kicking. And the no. time will expire before the half. Oh, oh. my goodness. Surely looked like he got out of bounds. I don't know if we have a replay on that one, but they mark him in bounds. Oh, wow. Time continued to tick off. And it was going to be a 49 yarder, so he had a he had to kick it with that with that he power. Had to get the power. It took time for the meter. And let's look at this again. Does he get out? I, I feel like he's Boy, out. So close Black here. Black and Boy, I don't have oh. talent. No go. The tackle, boy. Oh, big hit. Come on. And so that's going to cost him three points. Boy, I, I, I still don't know about that. I'm not trying to throw shade, but wow. It was a bang bang play there on the sideline. It's close. Game of inches, Scott. I thought he, he, he looked like he had gotten out, though. Tyrod. He's trailing by 14. Oh, what a tackle! User sack clicked on and made a play third and 16. And that's why these guys are the best. Something that simple, you don't want the AI doing nothing for you. You see the play break down. He clicks on to the end, presses the X button, sells out for the tackle, and Young Green is rewarded for it. He's sending the dogs! And he almost threw a pick. Talking about game of inches, this is a $30,000 game of Madden with a chance to punch your ticket to play a young Kiv in the Madden Bowl tonight. You already got yourself. I might not make it. <laughs> 40 grand, you win this, there's another 30 you get to play around with, and fourth and 16, True's going. Greeny's been sending dogs, look at all the heat. Tyron look at all the heat. Can't get rid of it. And Greeny is juiced. He said it, the key to my game is stop the run and get pressure. When True Boy played joke and problem, they didn't blitz him enough, and he said True Boy killed them with his passing attack. If he throws us the fan, oh, and he caught it at the two. Fan. Good preparation, though, by Drini, knowing that he needs to send the dogs at True, force him into some quick reactive situations, and it's paying off, all that preparation. And I don't know if True is listening to Mob Deep right now, but right now he's a shook one. First and goal. R.I.P. Prodigy of Mob Deep. Yeah. That's my guy when I was growing up. Trini's only 18, but his mind's old. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I thought that was funny about that in that music video, they said they're only 18, but they got Hennessy shirts on. <laughs> Great. 
Oh, big can't stop. throw it away. Carter coming in. Nice click on there by True. Boy, couldn't get the field goal. It'd be 21 to 10 right now, which means if you could have held him to a field goal here, you're still in it. Right now, a touchdown here might be the difference. And Murray ran over Wilson. It's going to be a fourth and goal from the four. And Drini will try to kick it through. If you're true, you got to try to block this kick. Coming out on field goal block. Hey, people look at us, you know. They don't think we got rhymes. Perfect kick. I don't got rhymes. You got rhymes? Are you claiming you got bars out here? <laughs> I don't think we have time for this. That's a whole nother program. <laughs> Fourth and goal. He's just going to kick the field goal. It, it does, he can't block it. He's, he, he got it perfectly. See that blue flicker right there. And that's a big field goal for Drini. Only 2.33 in the third quarter. Scott, you're down three possessions. If you're true boy now, you, you can't rely as much on that run game. You need to have a sense of urgency, and you got to pull out that passing game that you were telling us about that you worked on. Things haven't gone his way. So now he's down by 17. He's going to have an opportunity. He needs some magic here. At one possession at a time, if you're true, just have some urgency, get some go. points, and continue to fight. You're still in this ball game. This blitz is killing him, though. The blitz is killing him, Scott. And it's like manual blitz from Drini. Not manual, but he's setting it up. It's just a normal nickel 3-3-5, Tampa 2 look, but he's hot route on the linebackers, and he's sending the goons. I think problem, Skimbo, Dubby sitting at home, thinking about what could have been. You know, you, you got the guys that knock you out not playing well here today. But what about young Kiv and Drini? They are seven minutes away from cementing a rematch tonight. And the Madden Challenge. Really the wonkiest 90 seconds of Madden I've ever witnessed in my entire life that went all draining. Oh yeah, you're talking about that. It was like real time 90 seconds. The wildest Madden yeah, I've ever we seen. We went into the second half, it was as close as it gets, and then... Kip was up six to three. He was winning the game. And the next thing you know, he's down like 9,000 to four. I mean, it's, I don't know how he lost two points there, but... Right now, True has got to dig in. He's going to need some touchdowns, and he's going to need some stops or maybe some onside magic. He's moving it down the field somewhat quickly. This is what you need to do if you're True. You just need to finish strong here. True does like to run. He was telling us he likes to run to that right side of the line. That's where he has the 94 overall, Dan Deardorff. The Zach Mar Martin Mun Mutt Heroes lineup and David Andrews, a 90 overall Mutt Hero at center. So that right side of his old line is beefed up. Picks up the blitz. Looking, throwing, has a man. Oh, no, Stanky! Sharp and he dropped it. Oh, that was the old school Stanky leg in him. I haven't seen it in forever. Could not haul it in. This is a true nose that this is a huge play for his Madden 18 season right here on fourth and eight, Scott. True has won nearly a hundred thousand dollars playing Madden football, 59 grand this year. And for Drini, he's won 90 grand this year alone. This is his rookie season. He has a chance to win this next two games to add $60,000 on top of that. Big play, Scott. Need that. Oh, and he missed the read. Hey. He missed the tight end. Looked like he's running butt naked up the seam. That's Deion Jones from the Atlanta Falcons who rised up for the interception. The harvest edition, too. Greeny told me to look out for him. Thanks, giving interception. First and 10 now. Passing. To the air, Murray. Take a look at this again, Archie. Watch right up the seam. That A button receiver just naked. That was Sharp, who had the earlier drop. Was wide open up the hash. 
Greeny, a.k.a. Danielson, the karate kid, banded up. And Murray has a block on the outside. There's another strip animation, but he holds on at the 43, third and two. He's going to take this to the fourth. Throw point. your fours up. It's been all Drini. Kiv won earlier over Blocky, 24 to nothing. And Drini has got True on the ropes, 24 to seven. As we head to the fourth quarter here in Dallas, Texas. And we were out at the draft. We were out the first round. You actually, you went over there for day two. Snuck up on a, the podium. A little bit, got on the podium. I saw that and a, a, a buzz of NFL football going around Dallas this week. And we're just a few hours away from the finals, actually less than two hours from now. You give me a credential, I'll get myself in some mystery. <laughs> Running around, walk around like we own the place in Jerry's world. Until, Telvin until Smith somebody with the tells tackle. me I gotta leave. Right? Like, <laughs> That's right, yeah. Like, I'm sorry. As long as you look like you belong, man, you can, you can get a lot of places in this world. Fourth and three. This is tough. This is tough, John Madden, football to play. You're down big. Fourth quarter, time's running out. You're starting to lose hope. You just got to continue to fight. You need to stop right here, and he can't get it. Brendan Cooks will move the chains there at the 44-yard line. Young training, just so impressive. Running the ball, passing the ball. And the crazy thing is, you know, he's passing the ball really well, but you look at his stats from the Ultimate League season, passing yards for the total season, he was 15th. Passing yards per game, 15th out of 16. Not a great passer in the regular season, but looked good so far. Got to protect Victor. I don't like how much threw, He got. only threw the ball nine times a game. That'll explain that. <laughs> I think the 91 thing. 91 attempts in 10 games. Well, you, you see where he really shined was on defense. He was number one. Up oh, top. Up top. Tyreek Hill. Oh, and your toast is now burnt. Woo. The cheetah. That, that's got to be it. This is going to be too much for True to overcome. And I think we're going to get the rematch, Scott. That was the flash. Heart beating too fast for a stethoscope. And, but I'm looking at Drini's numbers. Number one in interceptions during the season. He had 20 of them during the regular season. Number one in takeaways. He had 24 of them. Turnover differential. He was first. He was plus 18. Here it is again. And you saw the gunslinger trait throw up. And it's a dippity dotaroo. Let's go. One, and it might put a period on this legend conference finals for true. Look at this defense. Sending so much heat. Yeah, we, talk, we were asking true if he won this game, you know, what are you going to do with the money? He said, well, he's like, I'm getting a new car no matter what. I need a new car. Yeah, a new car was happening. And he's like, if I can put some wins together, that might depend on what I get. And right now, it's looking like cloth seats, no leather. Tape player. <laughs> no no sunroof. Stop, stop. Maybe stop. an eight track. I don't know how far back. Stop. No, he, he, he's probably going to be rocking something way, way nicer than the C train over here. <laughs> Third and seven. Now, I like what Dreamy did when he built this team. He said, you know, secure, getting defenders with the secure tackler ability, which makes them harder to truck. Can't really truck those guys been a big part of the meta but Drini's smart enough he said true doesn't like the truck he, he, he's got Barry he likes to do spin moves and, and kind of get in the open field so he didn't really load up on those secure tacklers he, he was comf confident that he would be able to stop true run without doing that and it's paid off so far chat was saying no AC I mean it's no let's, AC. let's don't go that far that's that's wild so much at stake here you know this is a thirty thousand dollar game of Madden five hundred thousand dollar prize pool hundred thousand dollars going to the winner of tonight's Madden Bowl. We caught up with Drini and asked him about what it would be like to win the whole thing. I dream about it every day. I uh, think about it 
I think about the what what I, what I would do on the stage if I won. In my mind, you know, I was always dreaming about me winning this belt and me holding it up in front of everybody. The young man, 18 years old, the mental side of this kid. He's always listening and watching these videos of positivity and, and really finding a, a, a balance. And boy, nothing seems to get to him. Of course, I haven't seen him face a lot of adversity. He did start the season 0-2. I told him to put the bandana on. <laughs> and, and he, he only lost one game. I think it was the, the problem there in the, in the season. It's been really tough. And I'll be honest with you, from what we've seen through those 10 games, what we've seen through the playoffs tonight, Young, Kiv, Drini, those are the best two players that we've seen in Madden football. No disrespect to Blocky or True. They've played well, and I know this skill gap is so razor thin between these guys. A, a fumble here, an interception here could be the difference. But Drini and Young, Kiv have been the most entertaining and the most impressive and you, you got to pay credit to the versatility. I mean, these yep. are guys now that are about to make the finals of, they made a, the finals of a mud draft tournament at the Madden Challenge, which is a completely different mode. And now here they are about to make the finals of a salary cap tournament. So they're showing quite a bit of versatility there. And that's the type of versatility you want to show if you want to be the best Madden player in the world. And these 16 have been the best of the best. And there's no way we're besmirching some of our great competitors. This one almost tip drilled along the goal line. And that's the beautiful thing about these competitions, Scott, is John Madden football is a game millions of people play. And with how big esports is, it's only natural that we want to find out who is the best player in the world, who is number one, who is our champion. And what the Ultimate League and the MCS has allowed us to do is answer that question. And by the end of the night, that question will be answered. And let me answer this. We've got Joel CP in the chat right now on twitch.tv backslash man. And he said most entertaining. I'm talking on the field. On the field, they've been the most entertaining. That's the reason. By the way, let me first say congratulations to joining SK Gaming. Secondly, that's why you and I are both watching this game now. And to quote Adam Sandler and the Wedding Singer, I have the microphone, so you will listen to every word I have to say. <laughs> But no, we get it. Joel, you're the most entertaining in between the plays. <laughs> Side note, if you haven't seen the wedding scene, phenomenal. <laughs> phenomenal. Adam Sandler in his prime. And that's the game. 31-7. to Drini is moving on to the Madden Bowl. And I want to note, because we didn't see it in the first game, Blocky and Young Kib did shake hands. Blocky's actually the nicest guy we have in maybe the entire community. Those guys did show good sportsmanship, just like you saw here. That's the end of the road for True. But Drini is going to be moving on tonight's Madden Bowl to see who is going to be the champion of the Madden 18 Ultimate League. 31 to 7 once again here in the Legend Conference. Drini is going to be moving on tonight. Young Kib, Drini, the rematch here in Dallas, Texas, 7 p.m. Eastern. And Adrian Lawrence is standing by with the winner, Drini. Drini, congratulations. You're going on now to the final. And let's talk about this match you had over True. In week seven of the regular season, you beat True just by a field goal. But this time, 24 points. What made you so dominant? I mean, we had two months to prepare, so, you know, I watched through the tape. I watched every game he played and saw his weaknesses. Uh, like, when he, ha when he, there's no pressure on him, he makes really good reads. So, you know, in my mind, I had to send a lot of pressure at him, you know, make quick reads, and uh, that forced him to get sacked a lot, and that's where, I, you know, I won the game. And you're going on now to the final where you're going to face Young Kiv, who you beat in the Madden Challenge back in December. What are you expecting this time? I mean, I'm expecting me to win. You know, this is why I'm here. Uh, you know, this is why I'm here. I'm here to win. That's it. And if you do win, you're going to have two belts, you know, and Skimbo's been the only one to do that so far. So what would it mean to you to have two belts? I mean, yeah, me and him would be tied, but, you know, it would be amazing to be like the first person to ever win two, ti two times in one year. So I'm just trying to, I'm just looking forward to making history, and that's all I really want.
And you will, you know, as this time you were the youngest player in Madden history, or at least the MCS era, to have a belt. So, hey, you'd make history again if you got two. Hey, uh, I don't know. Man. I, I've just been preparing so much. I'm just happy that, you know, it's all, you know, it's all working out for me. And, yeah, I'm just, I'm just thankful. Well, congratulations and best of luck in the next chapter. Thank you.